Hello everybody, this is Cami from the Florida Art Chicks uh, here with Judy Borgarella and Ella Chabot, which are two, um, with me three, and uh, we're missing two of the other artists participating at the Nature Inspire Art Series at the Environmental Learning Center. Yeah, we're missing Scott Kelly and Cynthia Colella, but let's walk around the show and have Judy and Ella telling us about it. Okay? okay, so let's go. Let's start here with Ella's recycled art. Well, these actually aren't recycled. These are some of my paintings on canvas that we have here. Um, they're all having some trees. This one is the Orange Groves and Pearson's Groves. And the one upstairs is, uh, I call it the... Um, wetlands angel because when I was painting in the wetlands the tree as I stepped back from it kind of had the form of a lady in it so it's kind of like the the legend of the lady in the tree and I call her wetlands angel um, have another one that was done um, on the island in South Vero of some oak trees um, the ones just next to it were um, done at Adams Ranch. So we have ones in oil and ones in acrylic. And then as you go a little bit further, I have my, um, my canvas. It's on canvas, but the, the frame was done from driftwood that I picked up in Vero Beach. And um, it's done on canvas. And I tell my story, um, the, the canvas is not recycled, but the frame is made from driftwood that I picked up in Vero Beach and the, um, the day that I was collecting it the gentleman came along in his little golf cart and wanted to take that wood from me to take to the dump and I said no no we're gonna make a, a frame out of that so that's that's what came about so the the canvas is not recycled but the wood is on this one and then as you go just to the Side of that one, I have one that I call Sally's Place that was done in the Central Beach area of Vero Beach. And if you go upstairs from that, I'm going to let Judy take over because we yes, have one Judy. of hers. There we go, Judy. Yeah, this is our uh, this is a palette knife painting of uh, our the state's beautiful poinciana trees. They're just so stunning. Beautiful. And you see them everywhere at a certain time of year. And again, that was done with a palette knife. And this is, um, this was a plein air painting done at an um, uh, old friend of mine's gallery, which is long gone. The, uh, and this was just out near her gallery. And uh, the birds are ibis, which uh, were in my yard, and I put them in the, in the painting. Beautiful. And here, back to Ella. We got another one from Adams Ranch, and then um, we have one done, uh, I call it Grackle and Tree, because just as I was painting that down in the Fort Pierce area, uh, the grackle came, came <laughs> flying out of the tree. There's a little tiny grackle in, the, in, the, in that tree. Yeah, to the right I see there. it. I see it. <laughs> That's cute. And then okay. Come over to here we go. Here. <laughs> this is my work, and I've been playing a little bit with fluid art, and adding some uh, collage, I guess. Yeah, with trees and a uh, little, little mystical type of painting. And let's go this way. We're all working out even on new pieces that will be displayed. And I love how you went from the, um, the swirling process that you do, but then you, you also put the tree in there. Yes. So you've combined a couple of yes. techniques with this one. Yes, I do the beautiful, vibrant colors with your little dots and jewels yeah. and sparkles. Yeah, you've got some other mixed yeah. media in yeah. there. And did you do the swirling separately on the up, 
bottom and the top, or did you do all yeah. that at once? The swirling is actually fluid art. Fluid art, okay. Yes, and then I, I do kind of collage, and then I work on the tree and mm -hmm. put it on the canvas. Did you have any blowing process with that fluid art, or would you just some the, sometimes uh, I use yeah. the the blow dryer? Yeah. Like uh, for this one, I think I did. Yeah, I did a little blowing with the blow dryer. Did you ever try it with a straw? No, I didn't start a straw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm I'm kind of new of this yeah. technique. I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, I'm having fun. And, and well, and you got is... jewels on that. It's beautiful the way that sparkles. Oh, this one. Yeah, well, no, actually, just painting. It's the painting. Yeah, it's the really painting. It really shines. You've got some, some nice here. silvers and golds. In yeah. Uh, so this is my smaller pieces of kind of mystical, little one, mystical trees. And this is my biggest piece. I think I've never done big like this, but the uh, same... I use the fluid art for the background, and I use the gold and black and white and mix in. And then I use the, the other technique of collage, working on tree and gold leaf. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a little bit of everything, and it goes with my, you know, doodling kind of dot art. <laughs> which well, I Zen love, doodle. Zen doodle and yeah, that I love to do. So, where we go next? Well, Cynthia yeah, Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Yeah. Cynthia yeah. Colella, and I have been painting, I'm sorry Cynthia's not here, but I have been painting with her for probably almost 20 years. Oh. She is a, uh, she, she paints outdoors on location, all over Vero and surrounding areas. Just a beautiful yeah. nature artist. Her yes. work is amazing. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. And here's more from, oh, we have, oh, Cynthia so underneath. Yeah. yeah, this is still Cynthia. That's beautiful. That looks a little good. That is beautiful. really pretty. Yep. Yeah, she sits right. She does, yeah. you know, what they call on plein air. On plein air. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. sky. That yes, is very realistic sky. Everything. Yes, it is. Yeah. And we go back to Judy. Yeah, oh, I this love this is, one. Uh, Riverview Park, painted in plain air in Sebastian, Florida. Nice. And uh, the, those birds, the ibis, are all over the place. But those, again, were probably from my yard, <laughs> and I pasted them in. <laughs> very nice. And, and this is just a typical Florida scene. This was a class that I did with a group. Uh, a little simpler, uh, easier for them to accomplish in a day sitting. But it was fun. And this is what we see here in Sebastian, Florida. It's absolutely beautiful. Not that I want all those crowds down here. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad we live in this paradise. Yes, we do. And look at this table. Ella, would you like to give us a, a tour of little, the table? These are all giftable beautiful. things that I have so cute. put together for the Christmas season, I guess, for those that want to find something small, and they're all, many of them are using um, recycled materials. That's my latest passion, is to repurpose with my art as much as possible. So they're all a little bit different, and some of them are on wood, some of them, like the one in the middle, is on a fan. And, oh, yeah. Um, so cute. The little heart-shaped ones are on wire baskets, that I have added, uh, they're mixed media, I've added paper shreds from my shredder and painted on top of them. So we have this just a little bit of air. pretty. That's my little oak tree. Yeah. He's on wood with shredded paper and acrylic. These were all done with yeah. acrylic paints. Beautiful. Yeah. The ones in the back that have the moons or the suns coming through, those are, um, I use seals from my lemonade. <laughs> I noticed that. So that's how I recycle those. So cool. Unless I told you, you might not know. <laughs> that's I it. I, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so that's great. And then, so oh, this is the famous. auction item. And this is my Ella's um, auction item 
for having a silent auction during this exhibition. Mm -hmm. You also had a class of that. I had yes. a class yeah. last Saturday, and I had some very talented students came and painted on palm fronds with me. Yeah. That's this beautiful. One, um, it, there's a silent auction going on through December 29th for all of the auction paintings. You can come into the ELC and make a bid on them. This one is um, one of them, and then at each of the artists. We should talk about the poetry, too. You wrote a poem, right? Oh, no, Ellen, you, you wrote a poem. Well, I think Candy wrote the poem. I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, we both did. I sent <laughs> but, one, but yeah. I don't think mine's Oh, this is from, Ju yeah, Judy, this is yours. <laughs> okay. Oh, it'll be part of the show. Okay. Whenever you can get it here. Okay. Now, these are the giftable yeah. from a, another artist that is, is part Kelly's. of the group. Yeah, Scott at Kelly. He sold to Amazing both of these artists. opening night. Yeah, yeah photographer. Four or five yeah. times as many when he was here. Yes. Before, and I think he's busy making a few more. Oh, good. Yes. So we'll That's good. The next, oh, um, opening. next opening, the closing ceremony. Yes. For the closing, we'll have more giftables, we'll have mm -hmm. more art. And this is another auction. This item is the auction. From Cynthia Colella. And this one from Judy, Judy Burgarella, Adam Ocean, yep. and, and the one up here from Scott, Scott Kelly, and this is from me, Cami oh, DeMaria, and we have the beating right here, so you can come and and bid on the one that you like, that you want to bring home. And we keep going this way, and now here we get to Scott Kelly photography, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm, gorgeous. Yeah. Very beautiful. Again, beautiful this, Florida scenes. Yes, black and white. There is a little bit of a, you know, light in the, because of the glass, yeah. I have some shiny reflection. reflection, yeah. yeah. But that's why I come up to the show that you'll yeah, see, see and person. see it in person. What a different, yeah. yeah, beautiful. It's just breathtaking to see yeah. Scott's pieces. It yes, gorgeous. He is just an amazing, amazing local photographer. He is. And yeah, more here. And I think we down went down. around. I'm going to go and go back to this that. Is, this, this is another yeah. from uh, Why don't Ella. Let's talk about this one. Okay, and this is one of my recycled uh, materials on canvas. So, this uh, I've put the entire background is shredded paper from a shredder that's been painted on with acrylic. And then I've further added little bits of shredded paper for some of the grasses and the um, fronds in the palm tree. And Did you glue have, them on individually? They were glued on individually oh, and cut amazing. individually. So some of, you know, so I had to shape them a little yeah. bit. So they're Beautiful. little rectangular, long rectangular shredded paper pieces from my shredder. That's amazing. And I, hand, I have tiny scissors. I hand cut them and then glue them on with, you know, Mod Podge or glue or whatever. And yeah, wow. so it's that's beautiful. My dedication is yeah. to recycle, recycle, recycle. Yeah, absolutely. She has busy hands. <laughs> yes, she does. And here we're back to the front table, and, and there's a lot of reflections. There. A lot of reflection, but this is beautiful. This is uh, what Judy creates yes. on a palette. <laughs> yeah, as the and blossom was, of the mag blossom of the magnolia tree. When yes. I saw this Gorgeous. at Judy's house, I said, "This is a magnolia tree. You got to put this yeah. one in the show." Yes, absolutely. So she did. I was so happy to see it. Mm. Yes, very nice. And it's done. What what is it that you have it on there? Is that a palette? It's a palette. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And um, you know, the, I actually paint it from the paint on the palette. Oh wow! You just pull mm. it right over. It's so convenient. It's wow. right there. You don't need an easel. You have it right in your hand. You put your and palette out, and you use the paints from your palette. From the paints on the palette. I actually hold the palette in my hand. Oh. And, uh, and just squeeze the paints on. It's a simple process, and, and then you, you left the paint. Thing. You left yeah. the paint to dry. dry. I actually, because it's oil paint, and that those lumps would take months or maybe a uh -huh. year to dry. I actually put a glue gun and, and squirted some, you know, shapes, okay. and so, then put small amounts of oil paint because, gotcha. as you know, oil yeah. goes by. It can take six months to dry. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, at least. Yeah. Okay. So well, it's just a amazing. thin coating of oil. 
Well, I love the, the sparkle on those leaves. I can yes. see the light with those leaves maybe being yeah. slightly damp. That was actually good. from my tree, which wow. died. Oh, my God. But she, it's just very realistic, yeah. Judy. Just such yes. a beautiful, beautiful. Job. And then the colors within that petal. Beautiful. In the center, just so perfect. You have blended that so well. Thank beautiful. You. So. Here we go. Now and our we, sponsors. Oh we yes, sponsors. let's talk about our sponsor. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> well, yeah, we have. Too. We have. A, we want to thank Robin Borgarella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, who's my daughter? Yeah, Crim Crimson Key, Crimson estate Key. sale, and she also sells houses at Dale Sorensen Real Estate. Yes. Yeah. Thank you to to Robin, and then here we go. The Florida Art Here Chicks. Are. Here we are, me and Judy. <laughs> and Ella also sponsored some gift, which yes. we're going to show you soon. And so let's and move mm -hmm. to These the... little thoughts. Yeah, little let's thoughts. Let's here. put a... Well, there's the poems we've, we have. Yes. There's the poems. Yeah. Take the time to read it. It'll inspire you about trees. Yes. And so that's one of Candy's originals. One of my original poems, and so you can take some time to read it. Yeah. Little thought about trees. And now, it's not over yet, we're going to go to the next room. Yeah, we're in another gallery. We're in both the Lagoon and the Tidal Galleries at the Environmental yes. Learning Center. So, so let's... So we're going to walk down. We're going to walk down. Yeah, we're going to walk down, and then, uh, so, let's, uh, we'll see you there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And here we are in the Tidal Gallery. We're in the Tidal Gallery, and I think we're going to get a few more paintings in here from Judy and Cammie and possibly yes. Cynthia. But right now, it's at, it's the Ella Chabot Show. Yes, it is. <laughs> and here we have one of my um, recycled pieces. Now, this one is all recycled materials. I call it Tree of Life Recycled, and the frame is also um, repurposed and repurposed wood and driftwood. It's a combination of driftwood that I found, but also uh, one of the pieces was from a pro another project. So everything on this has been recycled. Beautiful. And, we... and I'd like to show you this one too because yes. this one was my. And people ask me, why would you do that? Well, sometimes I just like to challenge myself. This one is called The Stories Within the Story because it is on recycled VHS tapes. So Ooh, I found a really? box of VHS tapes in my garage, and I was like, I don't want to put these in the landfill. So I glued them all together and backed them with some cardboard and covered them with paper shreds and did an wow. acrylic painting on them. Wow. Of uh, the beach was actually um, in Italy. I was in Calabria and I oh. did the beach, but I left the mountains out so it'd be more like our local beaches. Yeah. And um, one of the tapes, one of the VHS tapes, was about yoga. So there's a little yoga lady in there in the corner too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's <laughs> not paper shreds. That's candy wrappers. Oh my goodness. Hershey, Hershey, Hershey can Hershey candy wrappers oh. in there with the recycled paper. That's fantastic. So the story's within the story. Yeah. And the frame is from repurposed wood. That um, pieces that I had from projects or found. It's yeah. fantastic. We keep going. And we also have this cute little little kind of big Christmas decoration. Oh, a lot of Christmas yeah. going on in this room. Yeah. Um, this one is another uh, painting on canvas with wood that was driftwood. And I'm not really sure where that top piece comes from, but it probably came off an old boat somewhere. Looks like it's yeah. got a burn mark in it. Could be, yeah. yeah. It's all um, just been varnished. It has not been painted at all. And what, do you remember where you found that upper piece? I found the upper piece um, on very, very south beach near Floralton Beach uh, in the Moorings area in Vero. Mm, wow. Nice. It was. Yeah, this Obviously cute. Obviously, part of a fire is something. Yeah. Cute little guys here. And here's where I wanted to take everybody because yes. this Christmas tree yeah. is full of recycled oh, ornaments okay. that I have made that I'm yes. putting out with my business card. 
Yes. For all the viewers that come oh, that want to take one for their Christmas tree, these were all done with recycled materials. This is great. And at one time I had trees, but those went at the opening reception, so I may be able so to make a few more trees, but now I'm left with the butterflies and the um, the fruit. Did you bring okay. a tree in? I didn't bring a tree in. That was the ELC's tree. Oh. I had them all in a basket originally, and... Um, they decided they wanted to actually put them on a Christmas tree. So viewers can come and take an ornament. That's cute. I made, uh, I think, around 60 or 70, and we're maybe down, I don't know, to 15 or 20 left. So yeah. come here. Come here and grab a I'll gift. Grab one for while they last. Well, they last. Yeah. <laughs> and if I get a chance, I'll make more. And then we're, we're to another. Um, this was done on artboard, and it's paper shreds on artboard. Oh, you've got some gold in there, I like too. this. Yeah. That's gold paper, paper shreds. Yeah. So the grasses were done in that one with paper shreds that I've cut up a little bit to make them white grasses. And some of them were probably from Christmas cards, so they had that gold color naturally. Pretty. And we keep going. Here's another um, oil uh, acrylic on canvas that um, was done at the Heathcote Botanical Gardens. Hmm. Nice. And I call it Posing Cat because there's a little cat in there. And there are cats. There are oh, cats yes. In those yeah, gardens. there's a little cat. And I didn't even realize that I had put the cat in there until <laughs> another artist pointed out, you know you have a cat in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we keep going. Here's keep another going. recycled piece that was done. Um, it's paper on actually styrofoam. Oh. And that's one of the uh, palm, uh, the, not palm trees, but uh, long leaf pine trees that we have locally. And we keep going with this little cute characters. Oh, another cute tree. Wow, very nice. Hey, here we go. This is great. I love this one. Uh, this one's called Letters Written Under the Sun, and it's all shredded letters written on stationery. Look that, at this. Um, all the little letters. The base is actually styrofoam for this one, but it's all shredded letters. And you can still see some of the handwriting. Yes. And it's acrylic paint for the trees and some of the background. Wow. And the upper one is recycled paper on canvas. And that was done um, down at Round Island State Park. Pretty. And another one, this one's on canvas, down at Round Island State Park. Beautiful. Beautiful. So everybody should come and look at both galleries, both the Tidal Gallery and the Lagoon Gallery. We have our art in. We may be getting a few more pieces before the December 29th show. Yes, 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 we will. We'll have more work there. And as we sell them, we're replacing them with new pieces. So if you decide you want to buy something, you can take it right away. Yes. All right, Judy, you want to say last few words? Yes, it's been a wonderful show, and there's still more to come. So um, be sure to come to our uh, closing, closing reception, and we'll have a lot of surprises. So yes. Stay tuned. December, yes. December 29, 5 p.m., Environmental Learning Center in Wabasso, Bear Beach, Florida. And thank you, Cammie. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.